Alveolitis refers to an inflammation of the bone base after the extraction of a tooth. This complication after an extraction often occurs in the side teeth of the lower jaw of smokers, but if a dentist fails to treat a wound properly, this can also lead to a case of alveolitis. An example of treatment would be inserting an iodoform strip after normal tooth extraction. Pain usually appears two to four days after extraction, caused by deterioration or inability to clot. To prevent this complication, it is important for the dentist to make sure that the bone base is well circulated. Here you can see two teeth being extracted. Blood does not immediately start to flow into the area left after extraction, which is why the bases, or alveola, are cleaned and freshened using a sharp spoon. Now blood starts to flow, and the blood clot which forms protects the alveola from invasion by germs from the mouth cavity, until the surface of the wound is covered by a membrane and if the patient is informed about proper dental hygiene during healing, then the complication of alveolitis can be avoided altogether. Alveolitis is a kind of inflammation of the bone, an osteomyelitis, and should therefore be treated as such. Uncertain treatment methods such as inserting wads soaked in medication are obsolete. The most effective treatment consists of freshening up the edges of a wound under a local anesthetic, removing the defective bone and closing up the wound tightly. Administering antibiotics is not necessary and has not proved to be effective.